welcome back to another video. So this is my last month in Korea and honestly, it's bittersweet. For the past three months, I've been exploring Seoul and I've grown to really appreciate its beautiful nature, amazing food, and just how convenient and easy life feels here. With that being said, I'm very excited for the next adventure. I won't reveal too much yet, but drop your guesses on where I'm headed next in the comments. On the topic of traveling, let's talk about what it's like to work whilst being on the move. I have to say, it's been incredible to finally live out the dream of having location freedom after years of working at a 9 to 5. But let's not sugarcoat things. Juggling work and life in a constantly changing environment is challenging, and it's not for everyone. When you're always on the move, you start to crave for a stable routine. And just when you find your flow, it's time to pack up and head to the next destination. That said, this kind of lifestyle forces you to build a mental toughness and a no excuses attitude. You quickly learn to stop waiting for the perfect conditions because the work still needs to get done no matter where you are or how you feel. Now let me quickly share a few habits that have been essential in helping me stay grounded and productive whilst working and traveling. The first one is time blocking. Allocate X amount of time to do Y task and stick to it, no excuses. You really don't need any complex tools or workflows, just use Google Calendar or a physical notebook to block out your time. It doesn't need to be fancy, it just needs to work. For example, I dedicate the first hour of my mornings to script writing and brainstorming for my YouTube channel. Creative writing is still a new skill for me and it doesn't come easily. Tackling it first thing in the morning when I'm well rested helps me do my best work. On the other hand, coding feels natural now. I've been doing it for so long I can just dive into a session anytime and hack away for hours. My point being, important tasks often need structure and focus, and time blocking ensures to get the attention they deserve. The next one is setting clear to-dos. Having a plan for the day is non-negotiable at this point. Without clear objectives, it's so easy to slip into procrastination. Just take 10-15 minutes to think about what you really want to achieve and write it down. You've probably heard this advice a million times, but that's because it works. This simple habit transforms where did the day go into, wow, I accomplished something today. And finally, it's almost impossible for me to stay productive if I'm not taking care of my health. And for me, that means weight training to build strength and release stress, regular cardio to boost energy levels, and quality sleep to recharge and stay sharp. Recently, I have shipped quite a few updates and improvements for my startup. Here's a quick breakdown of what I've worked on. So OpenAI has been rolling out constant updates to ChatGBT as part of their 12 days of OpenAI event. And keeping up with these changes has been fun, but challenging. Many of these updates have caused breaking changes and bug reports for my browser extension, which meant I had to push a lot of bug fixes to keep everything running smoothly. It's another reminder that maintaining browser extensions requires you to stay aware of current events and be ready to adapt at a moment's notice. Also, I have noticed a trend lately in my Stripe events. Lots of users were clicking the buy button but not completing their purchases. All of these expired checkout sessions were a missed opportunity for more revenue. So to address this, I updated my backend to listen for these Stripe events. And then it would send a follow-up email offering a unique discount code for that customer. The goal was simple, encourage users to return and complete their purchase, recovering some of the lost revenue. And it seems to be working. I've already tracked multiple purchases where these discount codes were applied, proving that small tweaks like this can make a huge impact. With the year coming to an end, I've been reflecting on how much has changed since I took the leap to work solo. It has only been a few months, but this has been a period of growth, not just for my startup, but for me as a person. I've learned to navigate in certain times, celebrate small wins, and stay persistent through setbacks. Now, I don't know what each of your own situations look like, but if I can say one thing, even if it feels like you're still figuring things out right now, the best move is always to keep showing up and give your best effort. Progress often comes from persistence, not perfection. I make these videos to document my journey and to look back one day to see how far I've come. But more than that, I hope they serve as a reminder that chasing what you want can lead to a better life. So wherever you are right now, just keep moving forward. You never know just how far your efforts today might take you tomorrow. 